Tutorial number five, data-driven testing. This tutorial teaches you the following skills. Data sets are sources of simulated real-world user input data and expected outcomes for test architect tests. Data-driven tests require simulated user input in the form of multi-column data files, otherwise known as data sets. Right-click the data node in the Test Architect Explorer tree and select New Data Set. In the name field, type Rented Cars, then click Create. A new data set opens in the test editor ready for your input. In the editor, type the header values Rental Month, Model Rented, Pickup State, and Quantity Rented. Within the test, these headers are used as the variable names for the values coming from their respective columns. Enter the test data. Beginning with the leftmost column of row 5, enter a row action, followed by the data values for that row as shown. Repeat for each row. Skip down a few lines in the test editor. Enter three filter actions as shown to create three named filters. Alternatively, you can select the contents of the table from the PDF and paste it into the editor. A named filter is defined in the dataset and may be used within the test to limit the number of used records to a subset of the dataset based on the filter criteria. Creating a data-driven test. Write a test that relies on an external data source to simulate real-world user input. A dataset is a data source that resides within the repository but outside of the test module. In the Test Architect Explorer tree, select any item within the current project, then click Create New Test Module on the toolbar. In the name field, type My Data Driven Tests, then click Create. For this lesson, you only need the test case section. Provide a useful description, such as report data out of a dataset. The next step is for you to enter a Use Dataset action line, but Test Architect offers a shortcut for this. Click the Rented Cars node under the Data node in the Test Architect Explorer tree and drag it to the first column of the editor, a few lines below the test case line. The Use Dataset action is automatically inserted where you release your cursor, with Rental Cars in the next column specifying the path to the dataset. Also, because each Use Dataset begins a loop that must have a closing action, a complementary Repeat for Dataset action is auto-inserted several lines below. The Use Dataset action connects the test to a dataset and, when executed, pulls a row of data from it. The Repeat for Dataset action works with Use Dataset to define the beginning and end of a loop. During execution, Repeat for Dataset sends back control to Use Dataset, which grabs a new record from the dataset. Enter the action Report and press Enter. Type the following into the text field. This line uses several variables, including quantity rented and pickup state, that have not been explicitly defined anywhere in the test. This highlights another function of the use dataset action. It associates values with variable names as it pulls them in from a dataset. Those variable names come from the column headers of the dataset. Click Save on the toolbar. Now you're ready to run your data-driven test. Click Execute. Examine the results to confirm that the tests use data from the dataset. The results display a report line for each execution of the use dataset repeat dataset loop, corresponding to each row in the dataset. Creating an external data source. It's sometimes necessary to supply tests with data from sources that are external to the Test Architect repository. To allow for this, Test Architect accepts tab-delimited text files as input. Such files may be created manually or by an application, such as a database query program. Create a tab-delimited text file to supply datasets to your test. This external file provides the data for the same test created in the earlier lesson. It replaces the dataset that was used previously. Check in the Rented Cars dataset by selecting Check In on the toolbar. Open the Rented Cars dataset that was created earlier by double clicking the Rented Cars node in the data subtree of the Test Architect Explorer tree. In the editor, select the cells that contain the row data of the dataset. Press Ctrl C to copy the selected contents. 
Open an empty file in a test editor such as Windows Notepad. Press Ctrl V to paste the copied data to the clipboard. Change some of the data in your file. For example, change the first occurrence of Prius to Thunderbird. By doing this, you can verify that the data is being pulled from the external file and not the rental car's dataset. Save the file as rentedcars.tsv to your C drive or another location on your local drive. Your external data source is now ready for use. Creating a dummy data set. To connect a test to an external data source, you must create a dummy data set to provide a link to the file. Although your test will receive its data from an external file, the test lines must still reference a data set. This establishes the names of the variables that the incoming values will be loaded into. Create this data set with the same headers you used in the previous lesson. Add one or more rows of test data to the data set. Rather than create a new data set, copy the data set you created in the previous lesson. In the Test Architect Explorer tree, expand the data node. Right-click Rented Cars and select Copy. Right-click Data and select Paste. A new node appears in the data subtree. Right-click Copy of Rented Cars and select Checkout. Right-click Copy of Rented Cars and select Rename. Rename the node to Rented Cars File Link. Delete all the dataset content except for the column headers and one row of data. Optionally, you can change the data to dummy values because the contents of the data row are not important. Accessing external data from the test. You'll now adapt the same test performed in the previous lesson to allow an external text file to serve as the data source. In the My Data Driven Test test module you created previously, select anywhere beneath the existing set of test lines and click Create a New Test Case on the toolbar. Provide a description for test case TCO2, such as Report Data from an External Source. Select the three test lines from the previous test case, TCO1, and copy them. Place your cursor in the first column, five or more lines below your new test case line, and paste the text. Now you modify this sequence of test lines to switch data sources. Enter the Action Refill data set. This is the action that connects with the data file. Press the space bar and select Rented Cars File Link, the dummy dataset you created earlier. The next cell, Text File, is where you specify the location and name of the text file that will serve as the data source. Finally, modify the name argument of the next test line so that it also points to the Rented Cars File Link dataset. Now you'll run the test and confirm that the data from the external file is properly read. Execute Test Case 02 of your test. In the Test Modules panel, Ensure that only the checkbox for test case TCO2 is selected. And here is the newly generated results page. Examine the results to ensure that the test was driven by the external data file. The results display a report line for each execution of the use dataset repeat dataset loop, corresponding to each data row in rentedcars.tsv. These results are nearly identical to those of test case TCO1. Close the Rented Cars File Link dataset page and reopen the dataset. You'll see that the new data has been added to the dataset. Applying a data filter. You'll now restrict the data coming into your test to only cars picked up in Nevada of quantities two or more. Return to test case TCO2 of your test module. Under the filter heading, add the following filter expression. The filter argument expects an expression and cannot accept a literal value, so in this case, don't proceed the expression with a pound symbol. Click Save. Execute test case TCO2. Note that in the results, the report is now limited to one entry, the Prius model, rented in Nevada in March with a quantity of three. There's another way to apply a data filter. Return to the Rented Cars File Link dataset and type the following. Click Save. Return to Test Case TCO2 and replace the current filter with a new filter, Colorado only, and click Save. Execute Test Case TCO2. Observe now that in the results the report is now limited to two entries, one for the Thunderbird model rented in Colorado in March with a quantity of one, the other for the Mustang model rented in Colorado in March with a quantity of one.